There are several weather myths out there and a lot of people hunt by these. They've been passed down for generations and the cool thing is we're gonna smash them. The first myth is hunting the pre-storm. Now sometimes the pre-storm can actually be a good sit. It could be a good hunt, but that's sometimes. If there's a lot of bad weather coming quickly, then you can expect those deer to know that and they're gonna stay put wherever they're at. Instead, hunt the backside of the storm is after those major changes have come through. Those deer are hungry, they're ready to move, they're ready to feed, and that's when you should be in your tree stand on the backside, not the front side. If you follow the moon phases, it can really mislead you when it comes to predicting when you should sit in the woods. And I'll just give you an extreme just to look at this really quick. If it's a 85 degree day, November 3rd in Michigan, and there's 35 mile an hour winds, it's going to be a bad day to hunt regardless of the moon. Now on the flip side, if it, that same day, November 3rd, is supposed to be a high of 27, it's a blue sky day, the winds have moderated, a big storm just passed, it's gonna be a great day to hunt, even if the moon phase day is a bad day. Always consider the weather first, the moon dead last. Now third in our myths is the barometric pressure. And unfortunately, a lot of the hunting models are based on barometric pressure, but folks, deer do not have a barometric pressure indicator in their head. And Instead, they actually relate and react to actual physical changes in the weather. They know not to get caught out in a storm because they know that if the wind speed's not very high or not changing much, if the temperature's not changing appreciably, if the moisture content is different, they know they can stay out in the fields and they can actually continue to feed, but they know when a storm's coming and a bad one, when they need to stay back in their bedding areas. They don't know because of the pressure, they know it because of those tangible, physical changes that they can feel, and that's how they base their movement decisions. Now, a fourth myth that we're looking at today is that the wind doesn't affect deer, and boy, it sure does. There's even some models out there that have shown that the wind, when it increases, deer move, but guess what? Deer are moving to get out of the wind. So when it comes to the wind, and it comes to making the decision to hunt in the wind, if you can get out of the wind, if you can get on the downwind side of a switchgrass field, a CRP field, conifers, a ridge, that's where deer are going to move to. Yeah, maybe they move more deer in the wind, but they're moving to get out of the wind. And if you always think about that, and you think about that myth that deer move more when it's windy, don't think about sitting in the wind. Always find a spot where you can get out of the wind in your favorite tree stand. <laughs>